starting to put the trim up. Basically, we cut these one, we take them one before, <clears throat> cut them a quarter inch thick, back up. Take two or fours and we cut them a quarter inch thick. So you get nine, you get nine of these out of one of these. Basically, we run it all the way around the top first, and then we run each one of the brakes. And in the corners, we put two. One on the right side, one on the left side. So you, uh, you use a bunch of them, but you don't have any of that drywall work to do. So that's why we didn't really, you know, see how that's a little loose up there? We didn't care because we knew we was gonna have an inch and a half up there. So as long as you're under an inch and a half, you're good. So that's what he's doing now. He's measuring, we'll put that up. We still have to get some of this stuff, this stuff here. For like that there <clears throat> we would um, use that stuff everywhere but we went and looked oh, the other day they wanted fourteen dollars a piece for one of those that was like seven foot long well two by four even with prices nowadays two by four is uh, six bucks six dollars you get nine of them and then you're under a dollar a piece and uh it makes it a lot easier to swallow so put those up and uh, that's how we're doing it just slowly but surely get in here he's cutting one we'll watch him stick that one up there real quick he's got a gun there obviously so here we go you gonna put it up there nice and tight gonna shoot it right in the middle both sides are drooping so he's gonna slide over one side okay I had a bulldog so there you go you got that one then he's gonna jump across the center he's gonna run this one and uh, so on and so forth. And then we're gonna drop down and we'll do from here to here, which is about seven feet. And we'll do one there, one there, a short one there, a short one there, a short one there, and short one there. And so on and so forth till we get it all done here. He's putting the long ones up first. And then he's figuring out what his short ones are. So here we go, y'all. We got the border up around the top. Okay. Got that done all the way around it. Got the strips over there. Got the strips on this wall. We uh, got a few strips there and we ran out. So we need some more, we're gonna get those. And we're trying to address this up here. So that's gonna be next. Okay y'all, so I went looking for these. Okay, these strips. You know, as you can tell, they're ripped off there. And this one's ripped off back here. This is all I can come up with. Basically the same stuff. It's not that far off. But basically I've got one, two, three, four strips. I got two full strips and two partials. So I need this over one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten. I need about ten strips. I would have saved three strips. So I just went ahead and bought enough to do this whole room. So this room is going to look different from the rest of them, but I think it'll be fine. We will be able to do this. These things are pretty expensive. They're about four or five dollars a piece. So you know, they don't sound that bad, but you're doing rooms, that's expensive. Especially when you can't find what you need. What I thought we was gonna do was just cut these like here and piece in, but we can't. So we have to pull them down. Okay, so you just pull them like so. Get them off the walls or the windows or the ceilings. That's what I meant to say. And there's two of them there. I got two more there to take down. Um, and then we'll get these new ones up 
and it should look a little better in here. It'll start all coming together. It won't look all tore up. Okay, y'all, we're starting to spackle this room. Getting the uh, screws covered up. Getting ready to get painted here. So we put these strips up like so. And then the random screws that we put in the middle, we uh, put spackling over those. So the drywall work is a minimum. But the factory, they put nails and staples in here to hold everything like so. And uh, they put these rosettes like so. So they don't do any drywall work at all. So we keep it to a minimum, but we still do a little bit of drywall work. We try not to do a ton, but you see there what he's doing. He's got 10 screws or so in, in, in one sheet. Um, we try to keep all the screws hid, basically. Obviously, when we put screws in, like here's one, we put screws in, we put them tight everywhere. So our um, inch and a half piece will cover it. That there will cover it up. He's still shooting these nails every once in a while. He sees something loose. This is like final control here. He goes through and uh, hits everything, checks everything. If anything needs attention, he goes ahead and handles it. Once we get it sanded, then we'll paint it. Once we paint it, then we'll go to the house. Not really, but you know, we get it painted, we'll, uh, we're home free then. But we're getting there, slowly but surely. Just keep chugging away at it, a day at a time. One day a week, that's all we handle it. Sometimes we get two days. But usually one. The breeze is going pretty good today. It ain't that hot. It's only about, I don't know, maybe 85 or 90 today. Last week it was 105 in here, just cooking. We don't have the, uh, we don't have the air conditioner in yet. We don't have power on the building. So everything we're using right now is battery. So what we're doing, we do, the whole remodel on batteries. Basically, I charge them at shop on, during the week and we've got enough batteries to last us one day. Or actually, we got enough batteries to last us day and a half probably. And we take and uh, like this evening, I will put all the batteries we use today on the charge and we can charge uh, we can charge 10 batteries a night. So we can get them all charged up and we'll have 10 to go in the morning, or at least 10 to go. We didn't use them all today, so we'll have 15 or so ready in the morning. Um, and then we'll be back at it real nice and hard, trying to get everything done here. But we'll get back with you. Okay, y'all. Hey y'all, you see that texture? That's what's going to be hard. We got a couple spots like here where they ran them nails up in the ceiling. Smooth is easy, but getting that kind of stuff, a dose my Okay. Um, getting that stuff smoothed out is going to be rough, or not smoothed out, but texture. And like right there, there was a big hole. That's gonna be hard. Right there, there's a bunch of nail holes. That's gonna be hard. We gotta get that texture back somehow. Somehow, some way, we get that texture close where we can hide it. Like over there on that wall, it stands out like a sore thumb. See it there and right there? 
it's standing out bad. We gotta let it dry a little bit and then we're gonna try to put texture to it. And uh, you just got to use your imagination. I mean, what do you think will make that kind of texture? So we're gonna try two or three things here and see what we can do. Okay, y'all. Y'all don't even believe this. A used paint roller is what he's gonna try. Okay. Yes, it is used as hard as a brick and that is doing it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they won't throw away the used paint rollers and I'm trying to figure out why. And this is why. That's not gonna work. But right there, there's texture just like the other. So, you're getting it close enough. That's crazy. He's putting extra spackling on there. And then he's using that used paint roller to get it the way we need it to. It's gonna stick out a little bit, but I can't do no better. I ain't gonna try. Get it nice and wet with mud. Okay, put an extra mud on there to give it something to pull down and stand up and bite to. And then he's using that used paint roller, rolling across it. So. Mm hmm. That's something. Something I wouldn't have thought of. I don't think I'd have tried to use one. I might have tried a new one. Um, but that's what he's going to do. Oh, yeah. It's bueno. It's bueno, bueno, bueno. No problem. That's bueno. Doing the same thing over there. We won't call that good and leave it alone. It's just crazy it works that good. Maybe a poquito on you. Don't hit that one little spot there because it's, it's flat. But this is good. See where he pulled it down? Looks good. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but I mean, but a hell of a lot better than what it's flat, you know. You guys can see that where he's working out. Yeah. See, Mom.
y'all are so mad at us. But that's what we're doing now. That's the two by fours worth. We're cutting them out and making the little strips to go in the mobile home. So we got the problem here. I do not believe the fan is working on this thing. It's not. It's not cooling itself. But I sit here with a uh, a blower and blow on it. It'll go a lot farther. And he's fixing to cut them with a damn circular. So that's what they did last time. Cut them off with a circular. So, but we'll see. Bueno. Bueno. Look at that, boys and girls. One cut. That's two. Two down. Get away. Okay. No. Power. Killed the battery after one, two, three, five. Five and a half. Um, full cuts or two by four. Eight foot long. <clears throat> and that battery is the same battery he was using today, so that's probably cut. I don't know. Maybe one, two by four. Maybe eight of these. Basically what he's cut on one battery. <coughs> he had a big battery though. I think it was a six amp battery. Putting a five amp in there now. neither. He's flat hammering down on it. It's going to be fun to cut this one. Let me hold it upright. We're still putting trim up, y'all. So basically, we trim out the trim like so. Put one on this wall and put one on this wall. Go all the way from the floor to see it. And then you come in and you trim it with a uh, caulk around the outside and you're good. You're doing the same thing over there. Put 
one there. We'll put two over here. And uh, we'll be getting there then. And we're gonna sand it and uh, paint it. Paint the ceiling too. And uh, then we're gonna be good to go. Here's that spackling after it dried. That we looked at yesterday. Um, some more over here, right there. That's bad when I had to look for it to find it. But you see there, you don't see it at all. Over here was some more, and that's in the light there. You know, in good light. It's there. Right here, some more that we had to do. That one you can kind of tell a little bit, but it's a lot better than holding off in there. That one's the same way. Once we trim it out and all that good stuff, you won't never notice, I don't believe. But that's it. He's still cooking. He's still cooking. Y'all saw was making these. We cut them out of two before. It's easier than buying them. Um, I did buy these like I showed y'all. These are $4 a piece. You start thinking about, start thinking about how many is in here. Uh, there's going to be like 35 of them in this room that we made to put in here. Yeah, we couldn't believe it either, but they're everywhere. There's tons of them. So we went through about 60 of them, or 70 of them in this, in this house so far. And we're not done. Okay, y'all, we got all the trim up in here, except for the stuff in the top, and we're not putting that in yet because we're gonna paint the ceiling, and we don't wanna have to trim out around all that. So. But we're gonna paint all this same color. Even in the closets done now. Starting to caulk everything, make it all come together. We just use latex caulk because we're gonna paint it with late the water-based paint. So we always use latex. You can use silicone if you want, but we use latex just because it it uh, it's easier, dries faster, and we can paint it faster, and just about everything you know is better inside. Now exterior, we use a lot of silicone um, because it lasts a lot longer and it doesn't shrink and crack. And there's pros and cons to both of them, but we. Uh, just depends on where we're using it. If we're inside, we use latex. If we're outside, normally we use silicone, but we do uh, we do sometimes switch that up. We're gonna make that line go away. Do that in the other room. You see that line? What you gonna make that line? Right before your eyes is a magic trick. Any painter can make a carpenter look good. And any mason can make a a uh, bricklayer look good. And any we can keep going, but you understand what I'm saying. It's all in the finishes. The finish man's got the hardest job. But we got the same guy being the finisher and the, the rough carpenter. So he tries to make it easy on himself all the way around. But that's the way we do it. Just go around and caulk everything and clean it all up. And then we come back and we're gonna paint it all off and we'll be good to go here shortly. Okay, y'all, we got it all sanded here. Got everything sanded that we wanted to get sanded in this room. So, we're getting ready to paint it. 
It's still a little hazy in here, as you can tell. But we're getting ready to paint it off and uh, then we'll see what it looks like. Yo, this one's getting a little long. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up for filming it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.